<laughs> well, let's get our Z84 wing back in the air before it gets too windy out here this morning. I've already had my fun with the GFS F22 Mini. And I love flying this wing now that it, I'm flying it on 4S light boats. Just absolutely an amazing wing. All right, launching. That's just me playing with the throttle. It's a little breezy out. <laughs> Such an awesome, awesome wing. <laughs> that is so darn maneuverable. Isn't that awesome? I'm not even going close to full throttle. <laughs> that was a full throttle run. How about that power? That is so amazing. <laughs> now I know some of you have recently purchased this wing because I've seen it in uh, my affiliate account and I really appreciate you guys doing that so so when we get back when when this flight is over i'll i'll go back over again at the at the hangar all the information on this wing and the components the components that i have in it the lipo that i'm flying it with boy it is really windy up there But that is just awesome, isn't it? <laughs> it's hard to track sometimes. Absolutely amazing wing. If you've never flown a wing before, this is an excellent, excellent candidate. Um, if anything happens to this one, I'm really hoping that I can find a replacement, you know?
man. <laughs> I'm getting a little drift out of it with the wind. Just awesome. <laughs> I have an absolute blast with this swing every single time I break it out. <laughs> it is a screamer on for us. Oh, there goes my timer. All right, let's see. We're good. We're good that direction. We're good in that direction. Awesome. All right, let's slow this puppy down. I am glad in. Oh, 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 it's so rough and I landed so far away. All right, so I pushed it pretty hard that flight and um, I had my timer going for six minutes. So let's recover the swing and see how much voltage we've got left in it because I was not easy on it. Um, that was pretty aggressive flying. Typically have to fly, you know, a little faster. Hey, no dirt and sand in the motor. That's awesome. Um, fly a little faster when it's windy out. All right, so let's see. And the motor is just coming down warm. The motor is not even coming down hot, even when I push it fairly hard. Awesome motors. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, 15.42, 3.85, 3.85, 3.85. I guess, I guess maybe I should set my timer for seven to eight minutes. So that is absolutely fan fantastic, guys. All right, so I'll meet you back at the hangar and I wanna thank you guys again for using my affiliate account when you purchase this airframe. I, I don't remember if you purchased the kit or if you purchased the plug and fly version. But um, I will go over all of the components that I have in mind back at the hangar and I'll provide links to all everything that I've got in it because it is an absolutely amazing power system that I've got on this. It's tons of power and it's very efficient. You will absolutely love it. And you can fly it on 3S or 4S. And on the 3S, you will not complain about power. But on 4S, it's a screamer. See you back there. Okay, so, is that a fantastic wing or is that a fantastic wing? I just, I have an absolute blast with it every time I take it out. With the um, 3, uh, the 4S 1300 milliamp hour LiPo that I'm using, it gives me an all up weight on this wing of 413 grams. Now, because of the area that I have to land in, I've got these pretty heavy landing skids, three different landing skids on it that I had to install on it. And I'm sure that's probably about 12 to 15 grams of weight right there. So, if you don't need that, if you can land on grass, or something softer than the hard pack I land on, you should be under 400 grams all up with. All right, with the power system that I have on here, um, and that way, that all up way, it gives me a thrust to weight ratio on this wing of 2.221, which is why this thing has vertical acceleration because I mean, yeah, there's, there's relatively no drag on this airframe. But um, what I'm running is, I'm running the Beta FPV 2004 3000 kV motor. I have installed on it an HQ T mount 5x3 Pro. I have links to all this stuff in the show notes. The battery that I'm using is a Turnigy 4S, a Turnigy Nanotech 4S 
1300 milliamp hour and that is a 70C 4S LiPo that weighs 154 grams. So 154 grams um, is the biggest part of that 413 of course. I'm running a 6 channel Lemon RX receiver that has diversity antennas. I love those receivers. If you have a multi-protocol transmitter you can use one of those. It's DSM2, DSMX. The only thing that, one of the things that I had to do when I um, removed the stock motor and installed the Beta FPV 2004 is I did have to make a plywood motor mount to put on the back of it and it's a, it's a two piece motor mount. I think that I made, I think that I made templates for that in case I ever had to make another motor mount. I typically, I typically will make templates for everything that I make like that. So. If I have those templates, I think I do. If I have those templates, I will, I will post on our Facebook page. I'll provide a link to those templates where you can download them and create your own motor mounts uh, for one of these Beta FBV 2004 motors. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was pretty simple and pretty straightforward, not a problem. On your setup, I, if, if I remember correctly, the Z84 documentation, they, they stated to have some reflex in the elevons. Okay, well I did that to begin with and it, it made it easier to launch, although it's a piece of cake to launch the way it is. But it made it easy to launch, but the problem was is it always wanted to climb, you know, with that positive reflex on the elevons. So I just have mine completely neutral with the trailing edge of the wing. And when I launch it, I just, you know, I give it, with this power system, I give it 45% throttle and I just, I just give it a little upward angle on the toss and you saw it, it takes off just fine. And that way, with the elevons um, level with the trailing edge of the wing and with the balance on the, on the wing neutral on the specified CG, I'm flying on the specified CG, it works out extremely well. But with the elevons neutral with the trailing edge of the wing and with the, with the balance of the wing neutral on the specified CG, it tracks extremely well. You know, you don't, it's not, it's not pushing the nose down, it's not pushing the nose up, it, it, it holds its line very, very well. So that's what I would suggest that you do. Uh, just launch it with a little bit of an upward angle, not a whole lot, you know, 10 to 15 degrees and it will take right off, but an exceptional flying wing and it's just as durable as I'll get out because this was, this was my very first fixed wing, not a very good choice, but this was my very first fixed wing and it's still flying today and so far it's never had a gyro in it, you know, I'd like to put one in it. I'd like to have a gyro in all of them just in case, you know, I need the parachute button. So I may eventually put one in here. Uh, but just a fantastic flying wing, and this is this is really inexpensive for what you get, and you are going to have so much more fun than the cost of this. And and to me, that means it's a great value. Any time that I have, I can buy something where I feel like I get tons more fun out of it than what I paid for it. It it's a good value in my opinion. But anyway, the links to everything are in the show notes. I will try to get the templates posted on our Facebook page. For download, for any of you that want to use that motor on this wing, that uh, custom motor mount uh, works extremely well. Piece of cake. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to thank you guys again. The, those of you who ordered this wing and used my affiliate account, I, I appreciate that. It helps me do things like this, you know, to try and take these aircraft and have them performing exceptionally well, better than they did from the factory. And it takes a little bit of money to be able to do that. So I appreciate that very much. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the air.